Hey there, I'm Zoe and I play The Sims and today, uh, Nancy Langrab asked us out to bear night. Um, <laughs> we haven't actually seen her since like episode 3 of the Brokewood Baby Challenge, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> what I meant to say was, hi I'm Zoe and I play Sims, this is the Brokewood Baby Challenge, but, um, yeah, I felt like Nancy Langrab was more important than us because, uh, I'm really confused actually, um, I'm not quite sure why she remembered us, she just faintly thought of that strange homeless girl and her child that she walked past when she was tra traipsing through a field one time, uh, was like, let's invite her to bear night, because that makes sense, oh my gosh, I'm very confused, but also, you know, I'm not opposed to this, I, I will go to bear night with Nancy Lagrap, I mean, I don't look like a bear, should we look like a bear? Should I give Liana a bear outfit? I mean, now we have fruity bear outfits. Does that still count as a bear outfit if I wear a fruity bear outfit? In fact, I'm actually, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna test if wearing a fruity bear outfit will get us discounted drinks at bear night. Because this is an important question that needs to be answered. And also it gives me an excuse to wear a bear suit and that's hilarious. So, uh. Let us, yes, our new everyday wear shall be a bear outfit. Um, it's full body tax parenthood. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to be an avocado bear, I don't get why they have fruits on the front of them as well. Like none of this makes sense. Uh, we shall be a bright orange bear. That's actually terrifying. It's a neon orange bear costume. Okay, wear a neon orange bear. Um, I probably have to change into that outfit, but yeah. Nancy Langrab is gonna be like, I invited you here so we could laugh at the people who dress up like bears, and also you could dress up like a fluoro orange bear. I wonder if other people will come dressed as rainbow bears, or if they'll all come dressed as regular bears. Outfits, change our outfit to our fabulous new everyday wear. Well, this is great. Um, those are some real soulless eyes. That's okay, let's chat to Nancy. Hey Nancy. Wow, we actually have like a tiny bit of friendship with Nancy. That's weird. How do you feel about us now? You invited us to bear night. This is your fault. We match her skirt now. Maybe she does approve of us because we match her skirt. And she's like, wow, you thought about color coordination so much. I appreciate you. We should be friends. This is the strangest thing that's ever happened. I'm so confused. Oh my gosh. I'm, I actually love this. This is great. Okay. Uh, look at her little bare face. We can give parenting tips. I don't want to give, I want to receive. How do I receive parenting tips? Or is that like share parenting tips? As long as it gets my parenting skill up, I'm good. I, I would just click that interaction over and over again. The only thing we want from you, Nancy, is your parenting tips and your money. Which, I was going to say that's a lie, but it's actually not a lie. So now we get discounted drinks. So, uh... No, see, they're all regular bears. We're a cool bear. Um... Who are these bears? Mariko, Fatima, Sima. They're not townies, so it's okay. But yeah, they're all boring bears. Let's see if we're a cool bear. What? I am a bear! What part of what part of this is not a bear? I'm pretty sure. Pretty friggin' sure. This is a bear. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, I'll move away. This guy is like literally why. <laughs> He's so looking down at us. Look at this, look at this eye, look at his eyebrows. He's like, no. We should befriend him. <laughs> He's judging us so hard. That's hilarious. And this lady stalks us literally everywhere. Are you okay, lady? I just... Okay, I'm very confused. Uh, this is great. Uh, I feel like we should never speak of this again. So uh, let's praise the vampire lifestyle and then just... Hoodwink, oh wait, no, we can't hoodwink it out of there. Okay, well, we're screwed. Um, this doesn't look like a very comfortable place. Like, all the chairs are wooden and it's full of bears. So, yeah, Nancy, as much as we love you, which we do, because, uh, wait, can we be, fr are we friends with her? We look like we're close to being friends with her. Are we actually friends with Nancy Langrab? Because that would be great. Oh my gosh, we are. Okay, great. Exit. We're friends with Nancy Langrab. Can end early. And abandon our two friends of Victor Feng and Nancy Langrope. This is terrible and great. I, I approve. I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, we should definitely not go home in a bear costume because I feel like that would terrify our child. Can you imagine if he just... Oh, wait. I'm in Willow Creek again. 
This is so bad. Okay, Newcrest. We live in Newcrest. Look how sad our, our house looks from the map. That is so sad. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, we would terrify our child. Yeah, could you imagine if he came home and just like this giant orange bear? Being like, I am your mother now. Oh my gosh, it's slightly terrifying, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're all about traumatizing toddlers here on Zoe Sims because uh, why why not? Why not traumatize your toddlers, you know? What have they done with this society? Just be adorable, you know? <laughs> I should stop, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, here's here's the issue that I was afraid of. Ah, quick, before the baby comes out. Before the baby comes out. <sighs> he probably didn't see us. Uh, let's, is he sleepy? Yeah, let's just, what? This reset. This table, re I spent so long trying to build this table and it reset when we left the lot. That's so annoying. Because toddlers can only, only play with it when it's built. Oh no, it's still, as it's halfway. Because toddlers can only play with it when it's built and I was very annoyed. But yes, um, what I actually meant to do this episode before Nancy rang us, uh, that was chaos. What I meant to do is that it's almost Ash's birthday. And he's almost maxed all the toddler skills, so I wanted him to max all the toddler skills. Um, apparently he comes second to Nancy Langrab though, which is terrible, but also interesting. Okay, so he's almost maxed in imagination. He has maxed communication and potty. He just really needs to work on his thinking. And movement and imagination. Okay, so we're almost there, basically. We just need to... Get him to study shapes and really hope he doesn't get angry at us because he probably will. Uh, do you need anything else? Uh, I mean, yeah, we should probably. We can read you to sleep and then you can get your imagination to go up. How does that sound, baby? Yes, level four. Okay. And now we can read you to sleep and then you can get your imagination to go up. And he's been getting that up by playing with his little, um, with his little toys. I've been like leaving him mostly alone so he can play with the toys on the shelf, but he hasn't really touched them, which is okay. You know, he'll probably play with them as a child. Oh my gosh. When we age him up, he'll have like child traits. And he'll be a he'll be a child. We have to get him like an aspiration. I mean I'm pretty sure he's a rambunctious scamp. Like I'm pretty sure if you've been watching this let's play, I think he's a rambunctious scamp. You know. <laughs> he's been a he's been a little bit of a munchkin. Just a tiny, just a teeny weeny little munchkin, kind of. Also look! Our dragon fruits. Have all grown. I mean, they, they don't have anything on them, but that's okay. They're all large now, and we have this. Look how like leafy and nice our house is. I mean, that's not the correct word. It's not nice. It's terrible. But it's leafy, you know, which is okay. Uh, let's just rescue Liana a tiny bit. Do we have any food left? Also, the pack launch thing didn't work because it just goes off really quickly. So, uh, yeah, that was disappointing. That's okay. We made samosas. It's all good. Uh, and we can breed a frog. I almost went to drag that, like both frogs, into the selling, and that would have been terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, we would have lost out 160 smolings, I think. But like, look, we've got this little income down the bottom. It's great. And as soon as our dragon fruits grow, we'll have so much money, and then we can actually build a house. Oh my gosh. And then I'll I can make it like a little house we build on the channel, and then they can have a little. Sleeper. I mean, they can't. Even, they could probably just afford a starter home, and a starter home fits like one sim, barely. So I reckon we'd keep his room, and we keep the bathroom, and then ooh, wow. Okay, baby needs help. Baby needs some help. Okay, we are gonna get him a samosa. Eat the samosa. Excellent. Okay. Are you mostly okay? But you also need samosas. Oh. This is where this day is going. Baby is like, what the actual hell have you done to my mother? Uh, yeah, I turned her into a bear. Oops. We should definitely delete this outfit. But also, uh, I mean, he doesn't seem to be hating it. But also, no, we should definitely, definitely delete this outfit. Or should we leave it there? Just for occasions like this, where she's like, yeah, I want to look like a bear today. No. We should not keep it. That would be terrible. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Okay, thank you for your services, Neon Bear Suit, but you're terrible because you don't even count as a real- You're not even a real bear! You're a fake bear. Yeah, I said it. I don't know why that doesn't count as a bear, but now you know. You know, it was important that someone tried that one time, and uh, officially it doesn't count as a bear suit, which is real sad, but also kind of funny that it's just a fake bear suit. I actually love The Sims music. I'm 90% sure you can't hear it in my game, but that's okay. Ah, what? Asha, you have food. It's... Didn't you just eat the food? Don't you have food? Yeah, you got food right there. Eat it. No, no, eat the food. Oh my god, eat? Well, you just... I mean, I probably shouldn't be feeding him samosas. Like, did you just see her breathe fire? Yeah. Samosas are probably not. What are you doing? Baby! Okay. This happened the last time I tried to get food. Uh, Big Fang, my baby's about to die. Uh, let me just deal with that first, and then I will deal with you. Because, honestly, why? Fine, I, I can meet Lily. And hopefully our baby will be safe while we're awake. He'll just, yeah, daycare will take care of him. Because I, it's been glitching out like that a couple of times. I go to feed him, and he just picks up the samosas and puts them down. And picks them up and puts them down. It's like, because they're spicy. And he can't eat spicy food, I don't know. So it's a good thing we, uh, it's a good thing we bought that high chair. Because otherwise we wouldn't... Uh, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to feed him, and that would suck. <laughs> and then we'd have no baby. Uh, yeah. That would be the one good thing about him being a child, is that uh, we can't accidentally kill him. Which is always a bonus. You know, not being able to murder your children by starving them to death. is always good, you know? Oh yeah, Victor Fang lives in San Mashuno. That's so weird. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how fancy this is. Shh. She's like, girl, I made the correct choice. Oh no, it's not what she's like at all. She's like, what even is this? Why am I here? That's a good question. Uh, wow. Look how like fancy it looks so black too. And then there's like a, this little office area. I actually, I really approve of this house. It's got this little politician's room. Wow. So fancy. I want to live here. Oh my gosh, he has a baby. This is why he hasn't wanted to date us. The secret is finally revealed. It's because they have a baby. Oh my gosh. I mean, he's not even at his house, but this is why he invited us over to be like, okay, I can finally reveal the secret of why I haven't wanted to date you, but I've also been coming over to see your house because I do secretly want to date you, but also I had this baby. We need to meet this baby. Where is this baby? I need to- I need to see this baby. Oh my gosh, they can be friends. Oh my gosh, the, the drama now. They can be friends and then we can date- I don't even know if I want to date Victor, he's kind of weird. But also, it amuses me. But like, look at this house! I want to live in this house! Like, look at- look how fancy this kitchen is! You think of our kitchen at home? It's literally a stove, one counter, and a fridge. Do you see- where's the fridge? Okay, there's the fridge. I was just checking. Is that, is that a fridge? Uh, wow. Okay, um... We feel inferior. Uh, what should we do at this house now there's no Victor? Uh, are there any posters? I mean, that's the next most important question. A, is Victor here? B, holy potatoes, he has a child. Um, that's so weird! Oh my gosh, and I need to meet it now! And like, what's its name? Like, what was the baby called? Oh my gosh, I need to like, go into their household and age it up into a toddler and then I can tell you what its name is. Okay. Uh, I actually really tempted to do that right now. Maybe I will. Wow, just wow. So the baby is still invisible, but its name is Braylon Feng, which doesn't tell me any more about its gender. It's a green, it's a green cop, but that doesn't matter. But um, also I was looking at their traits and like Lily has level nine logic and then these other random skills. And then Victor has like the singing skill and the parenting skills. Clearly Lily has never done any parenting. But I'm pretty sure this is from interacting with us. Like, he probably has a parenting skill for that one time we bathed Asher at our house. And, like, we've been chatting to him comedy and making him dance and things. And that's probably why he has other suits. Which I think is kind of cute. That uh, we've kind of branched him out. Whereas Lily is very streamlined. And also it's funny because she needs level 10 charisma skill for her career. But she has level 0. But yes, they have this baby called Braylon that I want to see and age up. So, no, we don't care about Lily. But also, he's at work until 4pm. Well, she's at work until 6pm. Uh, well, yeah, I like, I like Victor better. Come, come home, Victor. Yes, I think you should skip work. 
so we can come meet your baby. Come on, come on, skip, 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 skip work. I want to see you. Come on. Okay, sorry. It took a long time for Victor to skip work. Hey, Liana's still here. Hi, Liana. You're cool. Oh, wow. So Liana only has like a little bit of negative romance with him, but he has, that makes, that's why the romance doesn't work. Cause he has, he has a lot more negative romance with her than she does with him. And look at his like relationship with Lily, it's full. The only people he knows is this old guy that he met once, Lily, who's like best friends with, and us, and our baby. Well, let's come age up Braylon and see what they're like. Braylon. That's an interesting, is, comment down below if you're, ooh, kiss the baby. Oh, cause he's a politician. But it's your own baby, you muffin. Come up here and kiss the baby. Liana's a more responsible parent than you. I mean, we knew that, but also... Rude. This reveals so much. I'm so glad that we actually decided to come here. Like, all my questions are answered. Uh, but yeah, we need to age up the baby. And we can finally see it. Look, there's a baby here. It's cute, kind of. But also, probably... I mean... The babies in the Sims 4 are a little demonic, to be honest. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to work out the walls of this place. Let's just fix those quickly. Okay, and then let's age up the baby. Can we do that? Can we age up? Yes. We can also show off to Liana. Liana, put down that baby. I want to age it up. So it can be top of friends with your baby. I mean, your baby's about to age up into a child, so the point is moot. But still, age it up. Age it up. Stop it. Stop feeding my child. You know it needs to be fed, but also rude. Um, secure her vote. Okay, wait, first I want to see him kiss the baby because that just sounds hilarious. Also, I totally shouldn't be using him to secure her vote, but also, you know, she would vote for him probably because she doesn't know anyone else literally ever, unless Nancy Langrab was running and then there'd be competition. But yay. Uh, Liana will vote for us. Elliot, Elliot, kiss the baby. <laughs> Pretty sure he's been in this neighborhood since the game began. Uh, a rip, the only guy who knew him. And now he has all this. What is she doing here? Oh my gosh, this lady is literally everywhere. Ah. Okay. Oh damn, I have to think about what their child is like. Well, let's say they have a clingy child because they hate it and um, it's clingy. Oh my gosh, she has glasses! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Look how cool he is! That is the coolest baby to ever exist. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, Asher is just like squishy and cute, and this where where they go. Well, it's gone forever. Uh, Victor's baby is so cool. He's just got little sunglasses, and oh my gosh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, he got kissed, and thus is happy. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I approve of this a lot. But yeah, there's this kid called Braylon, who's a uh, cool, I guess. We can see they found the tree. Ooh. Ooh. And she also knows nobody. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little detour. Uh, oh my gosh, so many reveals. And now there's this baby. Um, now what we should do now is we should travel. Oh, right, obviously. Well, rude. Okay, age up, baby, and then what we should do is we should travel to Liana's house and then the two babies can meet and then they can be baby friends. And then next episode, we can have a birthday party and Asher can invite his baby friend and then we'll age them both up into toddlers. I mean, into children. And I know that I just aged Braylon up into a toddler, but I don't care. They're going to be best friends. I've decided. I've decided we don't need to date Braylon. I mean, I mean, not Braylon. We don't need to date Victor Fang. I'll just, our children will be best friends. This is what, this is the whole point. Like, there was a reason for it. It's, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. There was actually a reason why Victor Feng kept inviting us out of stuff, to everything. And it was so our children could be best friends. I'm very happy that this is how this has turned out. 
after all that, it's finally been revealed that um, Victor Feng actually never did want to date us. He just wanted our children to be best friends because he didn't know how to raise children. And now he has one. And it's so cool! Look at his, look at his, his little pink clothes with little mismatched socks. This is the, I don't even care about, oh my gosh, our baby is like, you're encroaching on our territory. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. But yes, come baby. Oh no, that's not a button I want to press. Braylon, 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 come, come meet our baby. Talk to it. Talk to our baby. Oh, what? Now you can eat samosas. Oh no, he still can't. That's weird. We're not even on the lot and he still can't eat samosas. Well, I guess we just have to make non-spicy food. But look, look, they can be a little, oh, they can't even talk anymore. What happened? Oh. He talked to the stranger and then got sad. Well, I'm sorry, baby, but you're going to be best friends, so you're not going to be strangers for long. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and the fact that these two are now best friends. Uh, when you come back, they'll probably have full relationship arcs. I'm just going to keep, keep, I'm just going to keep clicking talk stranger forever now uh, until the next episode starts. So I hope you had a good time. Like if you liked. Subscribe for more chaos. Uh, this series is back on Mondays. So come see these adorable losers age up. I mean, they're not losers, but look how adorable they are. <laughs> they're so cute. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, I approve of this. Uh, but I hope you're having a great week and bye-bye. <laughs>